Hi everyone, we're going to look at how to find the equation of a line on a graph that doesn't have any dots on it. There's no points that are already labeled on here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find points to use in order to find the slope and the y-intercept. So the y-axis here is in the middle, and this is the x, so we're going to first find the y-intercept. It seems to cross right here at a nice point, which is positive 8. So that's our y-intercept there at 8. Now we're going to find another place to put a point that we can use to find the slope. We don't want to put a point in the middle of a box like this because we don't know exactly where that is. We don't want to estimate if we don't need to. We want to be as, as precise as possible. So the next place to put a point looks like right here would be a good spot because as you can see the blue line is crossing at a T there on the grid. So we know what that point should be. That's going to be 1, 4 as our next point we can use. Or we could use this point here, 2, 0, because again it crosses the grid at a nice place that we, can, we know for sure what it is. Picking any of those two points now, we're going to find the slope. So we're going to find the rise over the run. I'm going to add some colors here to label this. So the run is 1. The rise is down 4 boxes. So we got to be careful. It's going down. So we're decreasing. So if you look at this, I always draw a little person on the side here. And think of this little person as this would be sliding down. Oops, not shrinking. Let's try again. Sliding down the line. So from left to right, they're sliding down, so that the slope is decreasing. So our slope would be negative 4 over 1, 4 rise over run. Since it's rising down, it's negative 4 over 1, which of course is just negative 4. Our y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis, which was at positive 8. So our equation is y equals negative 4x plus 8. It's always the slope times x plus the y-intercept. Okay, let's do one more kind of like that. So down here is another example. Let's find the y-intercept first. It crosses down here at negative 1. And let's find another place where this line goes through that we know for sure where it is. It looks like this place up here, I know for sure where that is. And that's about it. I do see one more down here, though, actually. So I've got three points to choose from. I only need to pick two. I'm going to pick these two. So I'm going to go, I'm going to rise from here up to there. And then I'm going to run this many to the right. So my run would be 3. My rise would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then it's a positive 8 because this person would be climbing up the line. From left to right, we're climbing up. So it is a positive slope. So then we can run off to the side here. Our slope would be 8 over 3, rise over run. And then our y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis at negative 1. So our equation is y equals 8 over 3x minus 1. And that's how we find the equation of a line on a graph if there's no points already on there. We just got to basically just find the points and use those to find the y-intercept and the slope.